Okay, hi there, Dan here again and in this video, I am going to show to you the following. So this is the scenario, uh, we have here an HRouter 8 Pro device and these are the tasks that we're going to do. We have task number one, uh, configure dual ISP with failover. Uh, basically, we're going to make ETH0 and ETH1 as our one interfaces. Uh, ETH0 as our primary ISP and these are the static configurations we have the ip the gateway and the dns and f1 as our secondary isp with the following static configurations ip uh, gateway dns and then we're going to proceed to task number two task number two we're going to configure basic settings on this router and then task number three enhance failover config on our uh, one interfaces and then we have task number four, we're going to add or assign LAN to the following interfaces of the router. S2 as our LAN1 for our IT department. And then S3 for LAN2, that is for sales department. We have S4 for LAN number three, that is for our accounting department. And then S5 for LAN number four, HR department. And then management department for F6 as our LAN 5 and then let's assign our IoT devices on the F7 port which is the LAN number 6 and then the last step for our task is to verify the internet connectivity on all the networks okay so I have resetted this router to factory default so first time connection let's just assign a static IP on this laptop Sub this laptop as 1.10. Save this one. Okay, so we're just going to ping the router. So we have a ping now. So let me pull up a uh, Chrome browser. Type in here the IP. And then advance, proceed. This is UBNT, UBNT by default. Then log in. Okay, we're now connected on the router. Uh, let's do task number one, configure dual ISP with failover basing on these uh, static configurations for the IP gateway and DNS. So let me set this one aside. We're just going to go to wizards and then use the load balancing template. Click on that and then in here, we're going to set our F0 as our primary ISP based on this one and just copy in the uh, IP gateway and DNS. For static configurations, let's just click the static IP radio button. Input here the static configurations. So that is 7.10, this is slash 26, 7.1, the router gateway, so with the DNS. And then let's just leave this default firewall enabled. Then we're now proceeding to F one our secondary isp static configuration is one into one six eight that six that twenty so this is slash one six six that one and then later on we'll just go into uh, the dns server of our secondary isp okay and this is the catch in here uh this is a load balancing template so basically what it does it, it, it divides the load on the usage of the internet of the host computers so to enable a failover only on this template let us go into check this checkbox uh failover for f1 interface so basically what it does is it makes the f1 as a backup isp by which if it's zero will be down f1 will take charge and then if it's zero comes back f1 will be back as backup isp all right so it is very important to have a check on the checkbox and then let's configure f2 as our lan1 based on our task in here uh, we're going to assign this one in a 172.16.16.0 network so this would be uh, 172.16.16.1 and slash 24 255.255.255.0 that's it and then leave the dhcp enabled and then we're going to create a new admin user deleting the old default one this would be master master for the user and password and then that's it so 
to go back uh, we have config 80 as our primary isp with the static configurations of this one and then uh, f1 as our secondary isp with this following static configurations and then we have made our f2 as lan1 with this uh, ip address and created a new user okay let's click apply and apply changes and then reboot the router yes i'm sure so based on our ping we should be disconnected right now all right we're disconnected now and then let me just plug the cables in our f0 as our isp1 isp2 f1 and then plug also our laptop to f2 as our annually configured lan number one all right be back in a bit Okay, I'm done plugging the cables now. Uh, let me just set our laptop to obtain an IP address. Obtain IP address. And then release renew. So, okay, we have obtained an IP address now. 172.16.16.38 so this is within our um lan1 network in f2 so let me just go to the dashboard uh the ip of our router is this one paste in here so now let's just type in the newly created username and password that is master and master and we are now in our dashboard so i have here a uh, cable plugged in in f0 and f1 that is our one interfaces and then this is our lan number one the laptop that we are connected in so we are done with task number one and then let's now proceed to task number two to configure the basic settings of the router so to do that let's just go to dashboard and then system and then let's name this router as test router again then let's just assign the time zone set the time zone this would be philippines and uh, all and then let's just add in the dns of our secondary isp this one one two one six eight the six that one And then let's just add in here a uh, public DNS of Google. All right, and let's just leave NTP enabled, IPv6 enabled. Uh, let's just disable UNMS and then UBNT discovery. And that's it, save. It's now saving. Okay so it reflected the newly configured host name of this router so we are now proceeding to step number three now in here this is the catch for the failover config um let's just enhance the failover configuration of our one interfaces uh port it zero as our primary and then back up f1 so to do that let's just go to a config tree and then go to load balance and then group and then g and then we're going to enable the ib local metric change enable and then let's go over to protocols static and then route zero zero going to the internet and then uh, 6.1 gateway is our isp2 so let's make this one a on a let's assign this one a higher administrative distance or yeah yeah administrative distance let's make this one as 10 and let's name it as uh, secondary isp
that's it and let's go to our primary isp gateway this one 7.1 Let's just make this a description uh, primary ISP. And set a lower administrative distance than the secondary ISP. Okay. And then that's it. Let's click preview. And then apply. So it's now being saved. Uh, we're going to enable the traffic analysis. This is part of task number two, configure the basic settings. We're just going to enable traffic analysis in here. Yes. All right, that's it. Okay, to verify the uh, failover config enhancement, let's just go to routing. So in here, we have the primary ISP PLDT going to zero zero network the internet uh, this is the gateway for our primary isp and it says in here in the it's zero interface static and then it is enabled and then notice as you can see in our secondary isp route uh, it is disabled why it's because there is no traffic going to the backup isp since it is in um, failover mode we're going to run speed test in here to verify As you can see, we are in um, primary ISP, that is PLDT. Alright, so that's it. We have a clear internet connection on our primary ISP. So what if we're going to uh, disable our primary ISP? So let's just have a um, continuous ping on Google in here. Uh, we're going to disable our primary ISP and see if our secondary ISP kicks in. So let's just go to dashboard and then go to 180. Let's just disable it zero. Click yes. And then disabling now. Let's see our ping. As you can see, we have a timeout. So possibly this will be. Yeah, we're back on the internet again connection. So let's just run. Speed test again, supposed to be this should be uh, Rice, our secondary ISP. And there we go, it is Rice now. Let's run the speed test to check. So that's it. Now it works. And then let's just enable back our primary ISP and wait if our uh primary will kicks in right enable it zero enabling now so this in a while it should take effect as our path going to the internet one or it's zero one one pldt should be working on that so let's run speed test again and this should be pldt okay we're now in pldt back on our primary isp okay so our Task number three, enhance failover config is working. So now we're going to assign or add LAN interfaces to our uh, router. We're going to assign uh, F3 as our LAN number two. So this is the network 172.16.17.0 slash 26 F3 for our sales department. Okay. Let's go to F3. Hit config and then. The name is um, sales department. Same as one as sales department for the des description. The IP address manual. This is the IP address 172.16.17.0. one should be slash 26. Save the changes. And then let's go to services and then add HTTP for our LAN number two. This is the subnet 17 
range start slash 26 has a 62 usable IP addresses it should be 2 then our stop is 62 this is our router DNS is to it's at Google DNS save so that's it we have configured the LAN number two proceeding to LAN number three now in F4 accounting department go back to dashboard F4 this one config this is accounting department and then it's just assign the manual IP address on this 172.16.18.1 slash 26 save so add a DHCP server in that LAN number 3 this is the subnet slash 26 range start would be 18.2 range start would be for slash 26 that is 62 usable IP addresses 18.62 this is the router 18.1 same the router then google public dns save and let's add lan number lan number four f5 for our hr department go to dashboard f5 hr department Manual IP address um, that is 19. 19.1. Save. I sorry, slash 26. Save. And then go to services. Add the DHCP server. This would be LAN number 4. Yeah, that's LAN number 4, our HR department. Mm. This is nineteen dot zero slash twenty six. Uh, nineteen the same for slash twenty six sixty two. This is our router. It's our router again. 8.8. Save. <clears throat> now let's proceed adding LAN number 5. Uh, dashboard for H6. This is for our uh, management department. Okay. Actions config. Um, management and then assign a manually defined IP address this is 20 yeah. 20.1 slash 26 save and that then go to services uh, DHCP server LAN number to check it's LAN number 5 subnet for LAN number 5 that is 20 dot 0 slash 26 let's copy in the range start that would be 20.2 stop would be 20.62 the router 
20 dot 1 20 dot 1 Google public DNS save that and then let's proceed to adding LAN number 6 that is for I IOT devices go to dashboard is num that is for line number six in f seven okay line six manually define ip address um this is 21 that one i sorry slash on the six and then services RDGP and six paste in here um twenty one slash twenty six it's a network address twenty one dot two the range start range top is twenty one dot sixty two and this is the outer router IP eight at eight save okay so we're not done adding the LAN and assigning it to the is router 8 pro interfaces so let me just rename the IT department for LAN one this one uh, IT department just name rename that to be uniform save so we have here id department sales accounting hr management and our line number six we forgot to rename that one this should be iot devices network save okay so we have assigned the interfaces to the lan Decide on the task that we have. So we're now proceeding to task number five verify internet connectivity on H port. I'm going to plug my LAN cable to S3 to check our um, sales department if working, LAN number two. So be back in a bit. Uh, let me just have here my CMD pull up. Okay, so when I plug in the laptop, it should light up the port S3. Be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm done plugging in my laptop, the LAN cable of the laptop to um, S3. So let me just release and renew IP in here. And then renew. Okay, we have obtained an IP 172.16.17.2, which is uh, in the range of our LAN number to this one so to check uh let's go to services and line number two actions view leases we have in our laptop 17.2 populated in the leases okay let's just ping internet ping google okay we have internet and then let's just have youtube Yes, we can connect to the internet. All right, all right. So, to check if our LAN 3 has internet, I am going to plug again the laptop to F4. So, be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm done plugging in the uh, LAN cable to F4. That would be our um, LAN number 3 accounting department. This is the range 172.16.18 network. Uh, let me just IP release a new. Okay, we have obtained an IP on the network 172.16.18.2. All right, let's ping in here. Google. Yes, we can ping Google. It's trying in browsing internet. EFF.org. 
Yes, we can browse the internet. Okay, so to verify LAN number uh, 4, let me plug in the laptop to its 5. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay, I am now done plugging the LAN cable to S number 5 for our HR department. So let me just release a new IP again in here. And then renew. Yep, we have obtained an IP 172.16.19.2 within the network of our LAN number 4. Alright, let's ping in Google again. We have a ping. Let's try browsing the net. Let's go to ebay.com. There we go, we can browse the internet. So, moving again to check on LAN 5. I am going to plug my laptop to S6. Be back in a bit. So, okay, I'm now done plugging in the LAN cable to S number 6. I'm going to release a new IP in here. So, uh, supposedly we can obtain 172.16.20 IP in here. So, then renew. Yes, we have 172.16.22 ping Google. Alright, we can ping Google. See the browsing. Let's go to let's try and um Facebook.com. Yep, you can go to Facebook. So re last one, we're going to verify if we can have internet with the LAN 6. I'm going to plug the laptop to F7 for IE for our IoT devices network. Be back in a bit. Okay, I'm now done plugging the laptop to S7. So release a new IP address in here again. Yep, we have obtained an IP. 172.16.21.2 in Google. Right, browsing the web to check. It's up to waiter.com. Hit enter. There she goes. We have internet connectivity. So that's it. I think we're done with the task. So to recap, uh, we have done the following task configure dual ISP, uh, configure basic settings of the router, enhance spillover, assign LAN to interfaces. And then verify internet, internet connectivity. Alright. Okay, so thank you very much for reaching this far. On to the next video.